If you are a fan of trading with moving averages and unfamiliar with the alligator technical tool, get ready for an interesting strategy. The alligator is a trading indicator created by famous trader Bill Williams, which, just like moving averages, is used to confirm ongoing trends and their primary direction. In addition to identifying existing trends, you can also use the alligator to enter counter trend moves. Alligator is a trend following tool which follows the premise that financial markets and individual stocks trend just 15 to 30 percent of their time, while grinding through sideways ranges the other 70 to 85 percent of their time. The indicator has a funny name, it comes from the head of an alligator. As part of it, there are three moving averages. Each average has a name related to an alligator's mouth, jaws, teeth, and lips. The alligator analogy is designed to help describe some of the behaviors of the market as it goes from non-trending to trending. The idea is that the absence of a trend in the market, meaning periods of sideways movement, is like a sleeping alligator. Eventually, the alligator wakens and the longer it has slept, the hungrier will be. In other words, the more pronounced the trend will be. I know this analogy might seem funny, but don't exit the video yet and let me explain further the usefulness of this indicator. Bill Williams was insistent that a successful trader will know the structure of the market. In keeping with this line of thinking, the alligator consists of three moving averages, each smoothed over different time frames, which he called balance lines. By looking at the behavior of the balance lines, we can determine the structure of the market, in other words, whether we are dealing with a sleeping alligator or not. So alligator uses three smoothed moving averages, set at 5, 8 and 13 periods, which are all Fibonacci numbers. The three moving averages comprise the jaw, teeth and lips of the alligator, opening and closing in reaction to evolving trends and trading ranges. Green moving average represents the lips of the alligator and is set to 5 and displaced into the future by 3 periods. Red moving average is the alligator teeth and is set to 8 periods and pushed 5 periods into the future. Blue moving average represents the jaws of the alligator and is set to 13 periods and displaced 8 periods into the future. Now how to use the alligator in trading? There are three key pieces of information shown by the alligator. The absence of a trend, the formation of a trend, and the direction of the trend. Let's discuss each of these and see how we can use them with the alligator. First, the absence of a trend. This is a common state and it's indicated by those times when the three lines of the alligator indicator are close together or intersected. We can see in this example where the green, the red and the blue lines are stick close together. This means that the alligator is dormant and that the market is not really doing anything and that we are awaiting a change in state. So when the three lines are intersected, we don't have a trend. This is generally a time of low volatility and you may want to find another instrument or market to trade. Next, the formation of a trend. A successful awakening of the alligator is a crossover of the fast green line through the slower lines plus the slower lines following that direction and all the three lines spreading apart. When the three moving averages move wide apart, like in this example, the alligator is woke and eating. The longer the alligator has lain dormant, the hungrier it is. I know it's cringy, but think of a market that is ranging. We know that we'll break out, and the longer the range continues, the more violent the breakout can be. These periods of persistent trends are when the indicator tends to be more effective. So the lips of the alligator, the green line, the fastest moving average, will be the first one you will want to monitor. You want to see the green line cross both the slower moving averages. You will also see the lips and the jaws start to turn in the direction of the green line. As an entry point, many traders will enter the market following a candle close above or below all three lines. Third phase, direction of the trend. 
The direction is indicated by the movement of the balance lines. The green line is our fastest moving average, and we expect this to move first, followed by the red line, and then the blue line. The green line crossing above the slower lines represents a buy signal, crossing below represents a sell signal. If all three moving averages move higher and widen, it confirms an uptrend. If the balance lines move downward and widen after a sell signal, it confirms a downtrend. As the trend comes to an end, the balance lines draw close together. The fast green line crossing back over the slower lines is the signal to take your profit. The key strength of the indicator is the way that it helps you to stick with a persistent trend. One of the drawbacks is the difficulty in successfully reading the opening signals in a timely manner. During slipping period, when the lines are closed and intersected, you will see many crossovers that look like a trading signal. The trouble is the timing, because if the indicator lags at the start of a downtrend, for example, and the decrease was steep, you could potentially miss the price move. The classical way to use the alligator is to look for the perfect order. The three moving averages should not cross. When doing that, the perfect order forms. Moreover, this signals a strong trend. But this isn't the only way to use it. Remember that the alligator shifts the moving averages further in time. This shifting allows for a greater flexibility. In a way, it resembles the Ichimoku cloud. Traders familiar with cloud strategies know that the cloud or the Kumo is shifted on the right side of the chart. Therefore, future support and resistance levels appear at the present time. A useful alligator training approach deals with support and resistance levels, and these levels are not horizontal. You see, traders sometimes make a big mistake believing that support and resistance can only be horizontal. But there are also dynamic levels. Dynamic support and resistance move along with the price, therefore they offer more value. The three moving averages that make the alligator do exactly that. They follow the price. If the price rises, the three line follow. The bigger the distance between the lines, the stronger the support and resistance area. The bigger the time frame, the more difficult for the price to break through. In this way, the area between the first line, the green one, and the last one, the blue one, is dynamic support or resistance. For example, in a bullish trend, it shows support. In a downtrend, it shows resistance. When the alligator is feeding, watch for pullbacks against the main trend and trade those moves with a pullback strategy. So here we have a bullish trend with the alligator offering dynamic support. It starts from the green line and ends with the blue line. The lips offer weak support. If bears push stronger, they might reach the teeth. Jaws represents the final support. Any move beyond and the trend is in danger. Another useful alligator approach consists of analyzing the crossovers. That means the crosses between the three lines that make the indicator. A typical approach is to use the faster average, the green line, for spotting fake crosses. When the green line crosses the red one and then turns again without reaching the blue line, a fake move just forms. Hence, in a bullish trend, you can search for long entries after this crossover. In a bearish trend, go short after the perfect order gets back in place. You're probably familiar with the golden and death crosses. It calls for two big moving averages crossing. When the fast one moves above the slow one, a golden cross forms. This is bullish. When a death cross appears, the opposite is true. Bears are in control. The alligator could offer a similar interpretation. The secret is to use the bigger averages in the same way. Therefore, use the red and blue lines as the faster and the slower averages. A cross like this shows you the type of the market, bullish or bearish. Furthermore, use the green line of the alligator as a confirmation. Alligator provides a useful visual tool for trend recognition and trade entry timing, but it has limited usefulness during choppy and trendless periods. Alternatively, you could try using a different tool 
such as a momentum indicator or a different oscillator to look for price momentum divergences as a way of confirming your trading signal. As always, if you learned something new and found value, leave us a like to share your support, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to stay notified when we upload new videos. Until next time.